Okay, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, diffusion. And as you know that diffusion happens inside of living things, inside of cells, inside of our body, right? So here's potato. Potato is made of potato cells. So I'm going to just go ahead and chop this potato like this, right? And then chop this potato like this. Okay, so they're about the same sizes. Okay, maybe this one's too tall, right? Also, I'm going to go ahead and dig a little hole inside of this potato. And let me use a different knife. Dig a little hole in the potato. This is so that we can see the diffusion. Okay, the sound that you hear in the background is water that's boiling. And you're going to see why I have boiling water in a second. Okay, so... Here's potato with a hole in it. I'm gonna do the same thing for this potato. Okay. Try to make the holes about the same size. Okay. Alright, so I have two potatoes with holes in them. Okay, so for one of the potatoes, I'm just going to put it into regular water. Okay, I'm just going to rinse it around in regular water. And the other potato, I'm going to put it into boiling water. So as you know, boiling water kills things, right? So it's going to kill all these potato cells. So I'm going to put the potato into boiling water, and I'm just going to let the potato boil. Okay, let me pause the video and then you'll resume the video when the potato is fully boiled. Okay, so, okay, and we're back. And so the potato is pretty much done cooking. Now I'm going to take the potato out, dump out the water. All right, you can see it's a cooked potato. Okay, and let's follow me. I'm going to put the cooked potato into this right there, and then I'm gonna take the other potato. This other potato, I just put it into normal water. All right, I'm gonna shake off the water. Okay, it's so normal water. I put it here. Shake out the water. Okay, so why did I set up two holes? I'm gonna put salt in it now. Okay, let me change, move the camera, and move back, okay, so now I'm going to add salt, because as we know, when there's solute, the water will diffuse from high concentration to low concentration, so I'm just going to add some salt here, okay. In the middle and then same thing I'm going to add some salt here into the middle All right so you can clearly see I added some salt All right and so water goes from high concentration to low concentration and wherever there's solute then water is going to want to diffuse over to where the solute is so now I'm going to pause and I'm going to fast forward this and we're going to see if the water diffuses Okay, and now we're back. And so if we look at the potatoes, right? This is the one that was boiled. And as you can see, it's very dry. There's no water that came out of it, right? And this is the potato that was not boiled, right? And you can see water came out, right? So how come water came out of the potato that wasn't boiled? So the potato that was boiled, there's two reasons behind this. The potato that was boiled, the cells are all dead, right? And so if the cells are dead, right, then the cell membrane is not working correctly. And so salt 
would not cause the water to diffuse from high to low concentration if the cell membrane is not working correctly, right? And another reason behind this is that, as we learned before, temperature can change the shape of proteins. And on the cell membrane, there are proteins as well. And so if the proteins are changed in shape, then they're not going to function the way that they did before. And so diffusion can't happen. And so you can see here, these potato cells are still alive because it was not boiled and diffusion can happen as normal. Okay, and the next question that you might have is, how come these animals might die um, if you add salt to them? So I don't know if you had a fish before, but if you raise a fish, there's some fish that are called freshwater fish and some fish that are saltwater fish and some fish cannot be placed into salt water, right? And same thing, worms, worms cannot touch salt and snails, they cannot touch salt either. The salt will cause uh, their body's water to leave their body and they'll die. But for example, if I take salt, right? If I take salt and I put it onto my own skin, right? Am I gonna be dehydrated? No, how come? Well, if you look at your skin, right, your skin underneath your skin is actually living skin cells. But the outside part of your skin, these are actually all dead skin cells. That's why like you're losing cells all the time. That's what dust is. And so these are dead cells. And so these dead cells are protecting you so that um, when if there's salt, if you go swim in the ocean, for example, you're not going to be dehydrated.